So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titans. More specifically, we're going to be looking at the Plague Breaker stuff for you guys. So if you guys don't know, I've already done the review video and the shader video. They're both right here. You guys can check it out. The review video is what it sounds like. We just go over the armor set, some shaders here and there, and then I go over what are my thoughts about the armor set itself. Uh, for the shader video, it's all my shaders that are favorited because if I did all of my shaders, I legitimately do fall asleep. So that's why I stopped making all of the shaders. But if you want to see a shader, let me know in the shader videos and I can definitely work on doing some of those but then we've also already done the hunter video which is exactly the same as this video which uh, we get individual pieces from the armor and then make individual sets from those pieces so that's what we usually do so that way and also we do four I rarely explain this but I'm gonna explain it just so that way you guys are aware but we do four sets I used to do five um, but it was kind of unfair to mainly the warlocks and sometimes to the titans hunters I could definitely make a set with a with a cloak most of the time Warlocks the bond if it's pretty boring It was rough to make a set because it's just like it felt like added on to it and not a, a set that was basically formed around that piece so I decided to just do four four sets so that way it's equal to everyone um, so that way, like, hunters don't get an extra set and warlocks don't get an extra set. That was what I'm trying to say. So, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help. And I do think my content is worth it. But other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the Plague Breaker Helm. And this one is, is it's it's weird. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, this, isn't, this one is super weird. But... Um, this one is also just like rule of cool like this one was legitimately just like this is gonna just look cool I don't care what I do, which is why we're using the Veritas uh, plate the care more and greaves and then the TM Cogburn custom mark for the weird part <laughs> the the, the piece that I'm like, this is what makes it kind of weird in my opinion, is the fact that we're using the Exotic Arms Syntho-Seps. This is reason, the reason why why it's weird because we're using the Augmented Auspice. Now, I guess in my head, I was kind of thinking like maybe this is an Augmented uh, Doctor type of thing. To be honest, this is just rule of cool. This is just like, I just think this is cool. I'd have no explanation for this. And honestly, I kind of fuck with it. Like it does look really cool. For the actual colors, Queen's colors is what we're using. I love this shader. I rarely use it, but I really love this color. And yeah, I if I'm being quite honest, the reason why I just kind of went with like a fuck it type of mentality is because I didn't think the Titans have a, had a really cool like exotic or ornament that gave me like a, a doctor vibe. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just go for like an, like an augmented doctor, which is why we're using the augmented hospice. If I'm being honest, I should have used um, some like super like futuristic boots instead of a leather boot that being said this i would still mark this under like work in progress because uh there is some pieces where i'm like i don't know if i like specifically like i said the boots i would definitely switch out for the boots from uh deep stone crypt i think that would have been a better choice that being said there is a bit of discoloration in there that kind of pisses me off but i, I still i still would have done it just because i feel like that would have been the correct choice I still think this is pretty cool and I will definitely work on it in the backdrop. That being said, I probably would switch out the Synthoseps just because I'm, I don't use Synthoseps that much. So I definitely would go back to the drawing board, but would still hold like the, the, the helmet and Veritas plate with the shader as well, because I do think those two are really good. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, I'm going to be honest with y'all. This one is a fucking banger. I actually really like this one. So for the helmet, we're using the Cadmus Ridge Lance Cap Ornament, uh, specifically the Chivalry's Chill Ornament. For the Arms Plague Breaker Gauntlets, for the Chest Piece Care More and Plate, the Unyielding Favor Greaves for the Boots, and then the Knightly Noir Mark. So obviously I'm going for a knightly look, but more of a like a messed up one because obviously the Chivalry's Chill has the, the helmet kind of fucked up at the bottom. And shaderized dreaming spectrum specifically because there's some pieces here that doesn't shader really well but also the fact that unyielding favor has blue gemstones that don't change color as well and I thought that was gonna be really cool if I combine it with chivalry's chill so there is a reason why I'm using a lot of these pieces and the shadering as well so overall I actually really like this one even though I did clown on the plague breaker gauntlets for the Titans because they have the same problem as the hunters where 
the shoulder pads have those like knife looking things and honestly it's kind of the dumbest thing in the world because it's gonna dig into you so like in people are going to say like oh you're a guardian that doesn't matter it's like guardians still feel pain dog i i don't want to be kippy like stabbing myself over and over just to look cool um yeah i think the blades should have just been higher but i do explain that in the review video so overall i think this might be my favorite one so far i do know there's another one that's like actually my favorite but this one is so high up there that it's it's hard to like really say this is bad or like not even my favorite because it does look really cool like i definitely think this is the best chivalry's chill uh set that i've ever done just because everything works out really well that being said there's some arguments to be said like maybe the chess piece doesn't fit the whole theme i i would disagree with that only because um not only do you have the swords in the back but you also have like the chest plate that also have that armor i think the chainmail also helps a lot as well so maybe if i had more chainmail i think it would be a little bit better but overall i i like this the funny thing though is if you were to ask me like what what would be the one thing you would switch out i would honestly say the one thing i would switch out would be the actual arms i don't think they're that good for a nightly look the only reason i went with it is because the boots have or specifically the kneecaps have that pointy bit and i was like fuck it like i can use that for the pointy bits for the arms and that'll be fine but yeah if i were to switch something out it would definitely be the arms but titans let me know what you guys think about this one <clears throat> as for the next set this is my favorite and there is some things i would switch out but it's more more along the lines of like i expected this so first and foremost we're going to be using the Marin's odyssey for for the dune marchers and then for the actual pieces we're going to be using plague breaker plate and then plague breaker mark so for the last piece, it's going to be Devastation Complex for the helmet and then the Katoria Gauntlets for the arms. So I love this set. The combination of the Katoria Gauntlets with the Plague Breaker plate is absolutely fucking beautiful. But what makes this set even cooler in my head and the reason why I actually love this to the point where like this might be how my Titan is viewed in my head now is the fact that when you combine the Plague Breaker plate with the Marin's Odyssey and the Katoria Gauntlets, it almost looks like they're using okay so i love ghost in the show and the reason i'm bringing that up is because the major has uh, or i'm using kind of the same thing that the major does where she basically has like a onesie underneath and then they have a jacket over that kind of like the main same mindset that i have where the chest piece and the arms are going together really well because it looks like i'm wearing basically a jacket but underneath it looks like i'm wearing a full plate of armor so that's kind of like where my head goes and i think it looks fucking phenomenal it legitimately does look really cool in my head the only negative thing i have about this is the fact that i'm not a big fan of the plague breaker mark for this set it is pretty cool i just don't think it melds well with this set so if anything i would switch out the mark for something else if i'm being honest i would like a mark that is just a belt one day bungie will give us give us that i hope to god because once that happens bro it's fucking over it's so over because i'm literally going to be using that belt for most most of my set fashions because like for this i don't think i need a mark i think uh just a belt buckle would be way better because then it really gives off that feeling of i'm just you I, like i have a full like plate armor build and i just have a jacket underneath that to like just because of style so overall definitely my favorite i would just switch out the play breaker mark and honestly the, sh the shader as well i'm not the biggest I, I love the shader don't get me wrong it's really really cool i'm just not the biggest fan of how it looks on the actual boots uh, it's too much discoloration it looks kind of weird so i would want a shader that is a little bit more clean but not like super bright so that's where my head goes let me know what you guys think and then last but not least we're going to be utilizing a set that i made from a previous video where i was using the assassin's creed arms which is right here you guys can check it out funnily enough i also did that for the warlocks if i remember correctly so expect that for the warlocks but titans uh i'm not even going to try to say that name for that helmet like legitimately i how would you even say that to let me know in the comments below but it's for lorelei splendor one of my favorite ornaments uh wolf kiss gauntlets for the arms phoenix strife type o for the chest piece plague breaker greaves for the boots and then god's bane mark for the mark so obviously i'm going for a valkyrie look i guess even though it doesn't look that well to be honest royal treatment is definitely not the shader for this i just really should have cho chosen a better shader for this but <clears throat> i it's fine considering this is not like the last one that i've done or even the actual valkyrie look that i have because i i have an actual valkyrie look and i love it 
but this one's not bad is what I'm trying to say. It's just there's a few pieces that I would switch out. Um, Play Breaker, I don't think is actually a bad choice. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, Phoenix Strife Typo is the one I would switch out. More specifically, I would switch it out for Wolf Kiss Chest Plate. I think that would be way better. To be fair, some people might be, oh, you're using the same chest with the same arms or my my rule is i don't care if i'm using two of the same pieces with the exception being i don't like to combine the same helmet and chest piece for the warlocks because i feel like that looks way too similar so there yeah i would i should actually make a video of explaining my rules because i do have rules when it comes to fashion specifically with destiny 2 and final fantasy has its own rule and then wow has its own rule and it's not rules that i made personally like i thought about it it's just rules that i like instinctually just went in and had so that is pretty much it. Titans, let me know what you guys think about these sets. I personally think the second and third are absolute bangers with the third one being just my favorite. Like legitimately, that's how I see my Titan now. I'm going to go back in there and just to, just to try to make that set even better. I don't know if I want to switch the helmet out, maybe for something else. We'll see. But overall, that set just looks so cool. Titans, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. Remember, I'm working on a bunch of content for y'all. I'm also going to be, once I'm done with a big portion of Destiny 2 fashion, I'm going to be working on some other fashion as well as the second channel as well. Because if you guys don't know, I have a second channel where I play different games. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.